Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And a dive, but he's back. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And he fouls this one off. In the dirt here. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The batter, number nine. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. Well, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. First and second here with nobody out. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Ready with another two-strike offering. In the dirt here. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. Now the one and two pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Bradley is there. One away. Stepping up now, Anthony Rizzo. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here's the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there. Two gone. Big spot here. Now First and second. Two men gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Steven Souza Jr. Kyle Schwarber will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 12, Kyle Schwarber. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Comes set the 0 1. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to get to that quickly, though, and the count leaving at 1. Split fingered pitch that's by him for strike two. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Hit out towards second. Fielded by Sogard, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. Bradley. Michael Chavis is up You're off the bench to lead it off as the possible winning the run here in the bottom of number inning number nine. Michael Chavis. 
Ryan Tapera enters to do the pitching and best case scenario for him is to push Ryan this one into extra Tepera. innings. Andrew Benintendi is up off the, the bench to lead it off as the possible 16. winning run here in the bottom Andrew. of inning number nine. Benintendi. No balls and a strike to count. Now the 0 1. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. The next 0 2. Fouled away. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Six fouls in a row. This is turning into one of those epic at bats. Who's going to blink first? Is the pitcher going to continue to attack the zone, or is the hitter going to come outside it? And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. I didn't realize the pitcher and the hitter were being so charitable today, giving away seven free souvenirs to the fans. This is one of those epic at bats. Everyone wins. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. Here's Xander Bogarts no now. Two. So far, two for Good three job. in this one. Xander Bogarts. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. One out, nobody on. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes, count. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Now back. Into the box now. The Rafael Devers. He's Rough working right on a one for three Never. thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ground ball right side. Rizzo is there. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. into extra innings and next it'll be the outfielder Ian Happ. Fielder, number eight Ian Happ. ready to deliver here's the first pitch now the 0 1 and he gets him to swing through that one he's in control 0 and 2. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Up next to so the striding in, Nico the Horner. He's 0 for 1 Nico, thus far. Your attention, Jason please. Kipnis it will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone Jason. in the inning. Kipnis. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fouls this one off. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting a front foot down. No one's getting a barrel to the baseball. And he struck him out as well. So the, the bottom battle. of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Victor Caratini swings and misses there. So he's down 0-1. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Count now a ball and a strike. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. 
And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. From the stretch, the one two. Rounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Here's the one two. Pulled toward right center field. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now batting, the right fielder, Jason Hayward. Darwin's in Hernandez, a six-foot-two-inch left-hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Here's Jason Hayward now, as he rips it on the ground to second. Sogard is there, and how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch in the inning. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here. Leading and striding off. forward, well, the designated off. hitter, J.D. Martinez, hitter. from the stretch. Martinez. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And just like that, the winning run is into second base with a leadoff double. Now batting, first baseman, Mitch. Standing in now, Mitch Moreland. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Hit hard up the middle. Baez has it. And there's one away. So digging in with a chance to win it here, Alex Verdugo. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. And the indication from the dugout comes, it looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. Justin Smoke will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Your attention, please. Pink hitting for the Red Sox. Number 12. Justin Smoke. Ryan takes the mound to try to now get out of this mess. The there are two on Number with only one six. away. Kyle Ryan. And he got him out in front that oh, time. Man. Strike one. Ryan has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Bryant is up with it. Kipnis. On to first, and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. So in now for Chicago, Wilson Contreras. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Now time is marked out by the home plate umpire.
Ryan Brazier comes on now and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied no save opportunity here. Here's the first pitch to him that finds the zone a cold strike. Hit to short. Throw on to first in time one away. Stepping up to the plate Chris Bryant. It was a walk in his last. Getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. step off and try again. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a ball 1 and 0. High in the air down the right field line. Around first, he's digging for second. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Stepping in now, Javier Baez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And it's two balls and two strikes two now. Strikes. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them. But he wasn't able to catch up with that one. Three and two now. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. So it's a tight spot oh, here first and second one man three. out and that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. Josh Taylor takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Here's the first pitch. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Striding into the box, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Here's the first pitch, and it's fouled away. 
Two men are on with two men out. One and one to Schwarber. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Sent on the ground out to second. Sogard has it on the first, and the Cubs squander what looked like a good opportunity as that ends the inning. So coming to the plate, Eric Sogard. Leading he off. was a ground out well, no, victim last top. time up. The second baseman, Eric. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2-0, and but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom-of-the-order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Now the 2-1 pitch. He's in there for the second strike. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And there's one down now. Now with the play, Kevin Pillar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Dan Winkler, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Dan First pitch coming, here it is. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. The one two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to take it is Rizzo and there are two away now. Up Into the box. Right Andrew Benintendi. No he flew field. out in his last Andrew. at bat. Benintendi. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. From the windup, the 1 1. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's 1 and 2 now. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here's the one and two. A swing by Benintendi, and this is driven to deep right. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Two. Good stop. Xander, move up. Into the box now, Xander Bogarts fouled off. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. One and two to the Boston shortstop. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it.
On to the 12th frame in this one, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Set and the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Now the 0 1. High in the air into shallow left center. Benintendi comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Now batter. Now in the box, the Jason Kipnis Jason. looking to put the ball Kipnis. in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The pitch. And that's in there for a strike. One out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar is there, two gone. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Victor Caratini will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Ready with the 1 0. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Ball three. three and oh. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Digging in, Jason cup. Hayward. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Here's the first pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And as it turns out, the two-out walk does. Digging in once again, Rafael Devers. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Rafael Devers. Oh, he chased a bad pitch that time. It's strike one. Don't expect this pitcher to overthink this right here. You get an ugly swing like that, rinse and repeat. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. Next will be the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that on his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. Now batter. The first baseman, Mitch Moreland. At the plate, Mitch Moreland. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Lift it into center field. Pow is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Into the box now, Alex no right Verdugo. He was 99. given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. Well, they'll have to kind of come after him this time. No good reason for walking him right here. Yep, Fastball good. well outside. Cut fastball, and it's by him one and one. Fouled away. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back-to-back -back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. 
Now the one and two pitch. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. From the stretch, the one two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Schwarber is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. At the plate, Wilson Contreras. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2 2 tie. Wilson Contreras. He's set. Here it comes. And that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Behind 0 and 2 now. Now here's the pitch. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Chris Bryant. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Oh and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. On the run is Verdugo. Around first, digging for two. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. Marcus Walden, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. So now to the plate, Javier Baez. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. So stepping in, Anthony Rizzo. And he bats in a big spot here. Go ahead, run at third, two men out. Here's the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Bogarts has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Last half of the 13th inning set to go. And now it'll be the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. The catcher, Kevin. First pitch on its way. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. The batter, Striding in for seven. Boston. Eric Sogard struggling Kevin. so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Jeremy Jeffress is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 24. Jeremy Jeffress. Here comes the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit down the line at first. And this will be a foul ball as the first baseman makes a Herculean effort to make the stop. Easy there, Cha-Cha. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Now here's the pitch. I got to count two and two. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Contreras corrals it, and he makes the throw to first. Sogard is retired, two down now. Now to the plate, Kevin Pillar. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he misses with it, one and one. Two. 
two and one the count to Pilar. Everything this guy throws moves. And that two seamer has a mind of its own. Sent on the ground out to second. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Up next for the Red Sox, the left fielder. And that'll Andrew. bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew ben Benintendi. Andy. As he can't make contact and is tied up here at strike one. He's one for two in this one. Out of play off to the right. Swung on in the dirt. Strike three. Contreras finds it. And that ends the inning. set to begin the 14th inning and next it'll be the left-handed left power field. threat Kyle, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber and it's fouled away into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 fouled off Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. In the now, in half, and looking to improve on a 1 for 5 yeah. effort so far. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Again, he sends it out of play. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. And is the second baseman, yeah, Jason Kipnis. He's baseman. 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Kipnis. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Behind 0 and 2 now. Now the 0 and 2. Skied into straightaway right. Verdugo waits on it. And that's the third out. On to the bottom of the 14th. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. First pitch of the at-bat. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. There to take it in is Kipnis, and there's one away. Coming to the Up plate now, the Rafael Devers. The third baseman. From Rafael. the stretch, here's the pitch. Devers. Hit softly down the line at first. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Digging in and now looking for more, J.D. Martinez. He singled his last time up. Martinez. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Oh, 
And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning, and digging in is the DH, the switch hitter, Victor Caratini. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. Two balls and no strikes to the Cubs designated hitter. Now the 2 0. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's the first out to start the 15. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jason Hayward. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. In there and it's 0 and 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Verdugo in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Striding in, Wilson Contreras. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, but everything looked clean. He was on time. He looked powerful in the box. I guarantee you he wants that swing back. He's still thinking about it as he walks to the plate right here. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Mitch Moreland. The first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Here it comes. Now here's a check swing. Did he go around is the question. And yes, he did, says the man in blue. Strike one. The 0-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Schwarber arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. The and the next up will be the Alex Verdugo. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive to left. But this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Digging in for his now second at bat, Kevin Plowecki. He's 0 for 1 Kevin. after grounding out in his only Whoa, trip to the plate so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a liner. But this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to. New inning set to get underway, and digging in is the big time power threat, Chris Bryant. Bryant. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there. One away. Cubs four hole hitter Javier Baez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. One out, nobody on. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good. I think he might throw it again. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Javier Baez goes down for out number two in the top half. This is well struck. 
high and deep toward the left field corner. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. And your go-ahead run is in there at second base as he's got now himself back. a two-out double. The left Kyle to the plate now. Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. And it's grounded just foul down the line. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ball, ball one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Now time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Now the one and two pitch pulled toward right center field. Verdugo waits on it. And that retires the side. of the inning now and that'll give way to the veteran Eating second off. baseman Corbin Eric Redstone. Sogard the second baseman Eric. Alec Mills has waited oh, a long God. time but he'll come on to work in the 16th please. inning now pitching first pitch Chicago. coming here it is number 30 just Alec. off the outside that time Mills. laid off for a ball popped him up But this will land untouched. A 1 1. Misses for the second ball. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. Schwarber comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Digging in, Kevin Pillar. Last time through was a base hit. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lays off 1 0. Oh. 2 0. Oh. Here it comes. Ah, turned it loose on 2-0, and but he popped it up over to the right side of the infield. Kipnis is right there to handle it, and there are two now gone now. Left fielder. Now Andrew. back to the top of the lineup, ben stepping ben in, ben Andrew Benintendi. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Contreras is after it. And the throw to first ends the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning. And set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. Number eight. First pitch of the at bat. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. That evens it up one and one. Hap with a two and one count now. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Now batting. Second baseman. Jason Kipnis. In now, Jason Kipnis. Line toward right center. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. As one away, the runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Out in front of it, strike one. The 0-1. Oh 
high in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Now the 0 2 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the move is Pilar. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring the up the multi gold glover, Jason, Jason Hayward. Here's the first pitch. Now there's a swing by Hayward as he mashes this ball out to deep right field. And that finds a seam for extra bases as we'll see if they want to wheel that go-ahead run home from first. He's in there at the plate. And deep into extra innings, they have taken the lead. The catcher, number 40, Wilson Contreras. Stepping in now, Wilson Contreras. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Throw is high and it's over his head. They'll add a big insurance run here as the runner scores from second. The batter, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Into the box, Chris Bryant. And he fouls this one off. one and here's a ball hit in the air but no chance to run it down it's a foul ball oh and two here it is there's a swing and a high drive into left center field ranging back is Pilar but he has no chance to make the play it's off the wall now the relay home is in time and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down Leading off for the Red Sox, the shortstop, Xander Bogart. At the plate now, Xander Bogarts. Swing and a shot to third. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now batting, third baseman, Raphael. So now to the plate, Raphael Devers. Devers. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out, nothing in one. He comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game. Popped up. Bryant is calling for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring up the dangerous man of J.D. Martinez. Martinez. Craig Kimball enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. Number 46, Craig Kimball. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 1 0 is swung on and missed, strike one. Runner at second here with one man out. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll get back in safely, as wisely he hadn't committed too strongly toward third base. One, two. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man now he faces. Passes. First baseman. Digging in. Mitch Moreland, Moreland looking to finally get into the hit column here. No luck in six tries so far. 
Fastball in there for a called strike. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The right fielder, number Big 99. Big spot here. First and second, Alex. two men gone. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Kimbrell's ready. Here comes the pitch. A one pitch on its way. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely, so I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Last strike now for the Red Sox. And he struck him out for out number three, so that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. What? What time is it? Uh, where am I? Oh, man, it's over? Man, I thought this game was never going to end, but it did. And any time you can win a marathon game like that, it feels awfully good. 4-2 to two with the final score tonight. Alec Mills is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark